and girls, and welcome to HDR Kids Online. I'm Pastora, and I am so happy that you're able to join us today. So how about we get started with a word of prayer and prepare our hearts for the Bible adventure that God has for us today. So please join me right now as we say, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of today and for HDR Kids Online. I open my heart to today's Bible adventure. Speak to me in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, boys and girls, if you're ready, why don't we go ahead and get started with today's Bible adventure. Here we go. Know this, that for 400 years, 
Your descendants will be strangers in a country that is not their own. There, they will be enslaved and mistreated. But I will punish the nation they serve as slaves. And afterward, they will come out with great possessions. Are you all right, Abraham? Another dream? Yes, Sarah. But this time, one that amazes me. God has spoken to me. Look up at the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them, he said to me. Shall your offspring be? But, how is that possible? We've been childless all our time together. I do not know. I have no doubt that God will fulfill His promise. But how? I have no idea. None whatsoever. It's... it's beautiful, Father. I thought you'd like it. Your father wanted to make sure it was special. What do you think, Benjamin? Do you like your brother Joseph's new coat? How do I look? You're my son. You look handsome, just like your father. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go show my brothers? Well, you know, they're busy tending to the flocks, and uh, you need to tend to your work, Joseph just for a little while. Please, Father. Well, get back before supper. You can never say no to Joseph, can you? Is it that obvious? Is it obvious? <laughs> Your mother would have been so proud of him. Let's go find your shepherds. Aha! The negligent shepherds. Here he comes, father's favorite. Oh, what does he want? Hello, brothers. I bring you some strays which would not have wandered from the folds had their shepherds been doing their jobs. Oh, leave us alone. So we took a nap. <laughs> I guess that's what old men do. <laughs> no, 
That's what working men do. Not that you know anything about that. And what's this? Like it? Let me guess. Father, Father had it made for me. What do you think? What do I think? I think that we best get back to work. That's what I think. Don't you, Simeon? Let's go, Judah. Why are they always so angry with me, Reuben? Did you have to wear that? It's new. A gift from Father. Exactly. I like it. And besides, is it my fault that I'm his favorite? What? Just make yourself useful. And tend to that part of the flock. There? There. But why can't I be over there with the others? Why do I have Joseph, to... just do as I say. For your own sake. Why do they always push me aside? You don't do enough. You don't work nearly as hard as we do. I work just as much as they do. I work just as hard. Sleeping on the job? Just a little doze. Oh, really? Simeon! Judah! Come! It's about time we go back. Come, dreamer, before it gets too late. You shouldn't be so hard on him. He's spoiled. He's the youngest. No, Benjamin is the youngest and he's a baby, but Joseph? Father treats him like one. Wait! Wait for me! You of all of us should be most upset, Reuben. You're the eldest, yet Father favors that one above you. Above all of us? He doesn't. I... I had a dream! Don't ignore the facts. Did you see that coat? I... Enough! He thinks himself better than us. He thinks... Joseph is our brother. That's all that matters. And this... This has been a long day. Can we not walk back in peace? He's young. That's all. I had a dream. You fell asleep. Now you know how that can happen. A most amazing dream. Then I figure you're going to tell us all about it. We were binding sheaves. We? In that case, it could only be a dream. No. Uh, listen. We were binding sheaves. In a field. My sheaf arose, and it stood upright. And then your sheaves, they came and stood round about. And bowed down to my sheaf. It was so vivid. No! That was vivid! Simeon! It's not enough that we work harder than you. Now, you're to reign over us! <sighs> but it was so real. <sighs> oh, Joseph. again this week did you really like the praise and worship video i did you know i think i'm so ready to find out what this week's lesson is going to be about mm -hmm. because you know i think praise and worship is like the best way to just get everything started it is it's the best way to start every day is to praise and worship exactly right well this week you know well let me ask you this do you remember who we were talking about last week uh we were talking about um 
let's see, we were talking about Abraham, mm-hmm. we were talking about his family, and of course, about Isaac. Yes, Isaac. So, who we're going to talk about today is Isaac's son. <gasps> Isaac had a son? Isaac had many, many sons, but there's one in particular oh, okay. that we're going to talk about, and then his son. So, do you know who Isaac's son was? Mm, let's see, I'm pretty sure you probably already heard his name, because I don't think there's too many names out there. So I'm going to say Adam. No, it's not Adam. Oh, okay. Did they name him after Noah? No, they didn't name him after Noah. But that's a good choice. I mean, that's a good guess. What did they name him, Christiana? They named him Jacob. Oh. And then Jacob married a woman named Rachel. Okay. And then that's how they had a son. Yes, they had many sons. But did you know that just like Sarah, Rachel couldn't have kids? So she had to wait a really long time just like Sarah? She did, but remember how God fulfilled Sarah's promise and Abraham's he promise? He fulfilled Jacob and Rachel's promise as well. So they had a lot of children. Do you know how many they had? Oh, well, a lot of children. I'd say like five because that's a lot. They had even more than five. What? They had more than five. But that's a very, very big family. I don't think they would have had more than five. Well, they had 11. 11? Yes, and 11 is such a big number. They had 11 kids. That's a lot of kids. That's a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters. I imagine it was a lot of fun, though. (laughs) That's true, but I bet at times it could have also been hard because maybe they didn't always get along. Yeah, they didn't. And we're going to find out more about that in the story as we go along. And there's one brother that we're really going to talk about that he just stood out among all the rest. He was very, very special. And his name... What was his name? His name was Joseph. Joseph. That's a really pretty name. Yes, and he was so special. And he was the favorite. So his mom made him a coat of many, many, many colors. Like a rainbow? Yes, like a rainbow. It had all kinds of colors. But how did they get all the colors on there? I bet that must have been really expensive. It was expensive. Um, The coat had so many colors that it was really expensive and only royalty wore. Oh, so Joseph was really special. Yes, he was very, very special. And he was very, very special to God. And you know that God gave him a special gift. (gasps) Like what kind of gift? Like a puppy? No, not quite like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes God gives us special talent, special gifts that maybe is kind of like something that I can do that nobody else can do. It's very special. Kind of like that. So what did, what was Joseph's talent? Joseph's talent was he could interpret dreams. So God would give him a dream and he instantly knew what it meant. Wow. So like whenever like he would go to sleep and he would have like a dream, he would wake up knowing what it actually meant? Yes, he would know what it meant. And word kind of got around. So then the whole village would go to him and ask him what their dreams meant. So you mean he couldn't just like understand his dreams but he could also understand, like, other people's dreams without even, like, like, dreaming them himself? Yes, exactly. So, it was that special relationship with God. Like, he was so close with God that God would tell him and, like, whisper in his ear what those dreams meant. Wow. That must have been very, very neat for Joseph to have. It was something very, very, something special. very special. And it kind of made his brother jealous, but we'll learn more about that tomorrow. Oh, but I want to know now. I know, uh, but we're going to have to wait till tomorrow. Fine, it's okay. Well, I have a coloring sheet. <gasps> what is it for today? For today, it is Joseph in his coat of many, many colors. And in Genesis wow. 37, 3, um, he gave Joseph a coat of many colors. And that's all the colors. Wow, so it was very colorful. Yes, very, very colorful. And remember, it means royalty that that is something only royal people had so i think that god maybe put in his mom and his father's heart to make that because he was so special because he was special Mm -hmm. wow and he stood out because you said he had other brothers yes he stood out he had a there was 11 kids in total so he stood out wow and then can you imagine the coat (laughs) you know christina i can't wait to find out what made Joseph so special and why he was meant to stand out. So I'm super excited for the rest of the week. Me too, but we will find out more tomorrow, boys and girls. And uh, we have a challenge this week. (gasps) 
What yes. is our challenge? So our challenge this week, boys and girls, is for you to make something or do something special for your parents and to take a picture or video and post it to any of the Maranatha Media sites so we can see and share with you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. today's Bible adventure and Bible lesson. So how about we say a word of prayer and we ask God to continue to speak to our hearts and to help us to be the boys and girls that he wants us to be. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for today's Bible lesson. Thank you for teaching me about your word and showing me how much you love me, and all the great and amazing things you have for me. Help me to be all that you want me to be, and thank you for leaving in my heart. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, boys and girls, I want to invite you all to join us again for tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining. And if you would like the coloring sheets that we do every week, you can just email me at christiana120 at gmail.com. <laughs>